Nope. Hey, um, uh, just doing a video response here to your video, the only correct definition of atheist. Um, I agree with you <clears throat> that it would be a good idea uh, to not really quarrel about the terms or what have you, as long as um, both people uh, in the discussion understand the definition. Um, there is a slight uh, problem with that, as I'm sure you're well aware of um, two problems which could arise from the multiple definitions regardless. Uh, one of which, of course, is um, uh, say for creationists, for example, people who might want to demean atheists or are, are attempting to detract from a actual serious discussion uh, or trying to maintain logic, uh, you know, they might get, uh, there's possibility of their argument giving rise to fallacy of equivocation. You know, <coughs> using the definition of atheist in one particular context and then deliberately um, using it in another uh, with, an intel with, one the, uh, with another definition and another moment just to twist uh, uh, arguments or what have you to make them apparent their argument apparently better. Again, which of course it's not. Um, and the other uh, critical thinking uh, problem which can come out of that is um, if religious people are talking. Uh, again, I'm an agnostic, so um, actually I don't know how that plays into this, but that's irrelevant right now. Anyway, the secondary aspect, of course, that I was saying was ad hominem attacks. And the problem is that if you're having two people who are um, both fundamentalist religious, who understand the definitions for each other, then the definition of whether talking about actual religion, you know, trying to talk logically about at that point about even actually trying to evaluate an atheist position or what have you, say from a religious standpoint, um, or um, would, um, you know, uh, but might, uh, might r give rise to ad hominem attack to the point where atheist is something to be demeaned and calling somebody an atheist could be the equivalent of an ad hominem, at least in their own, you know, in their own mindset of trying to attack their character. But the thing, of course, which, which uh, bugs me about that, though, is that if, um, if it's possible for that one side to do it, um, it is possible, at least for some of the extremer, um, again, note that thankfully the, uh, thankfully the atheist contingent who falls into this category are very few, but um, Richard Dawkins actually uh, would fall into this category according to this last month's issue of Skeptical Inquirer, pages 39 to 42. Uh, that would be the January-February edition. Anyway, um, according to that one, uh, he talks about uh, about um, atheistic scientists being automatically better um, uh, than uh, uh, than uh, religious scientists with the same qualifications. Uh, and of course, he's been called on for making a weak point on this particular issue. So anyway, uh, I digress. But again, my point being is that um, with multiple definitions, one has to be uh, if there are multiple definitions about a word like the about like a, like the. Uh, surrounding a word like atheist or agnostic or religious or what have you, um, or on any word pertaining to this issue or, you know, issues of this sort, it might be an idea just to keep the critical thinking caps on um, longer and, you know, keep uh, much more alert than uh, we might normally be, uh, or you know, just basically it's good enough reason to keep all the more alert due to the uh, possibilities that as multiple definitions arise, um, so does the tendency for critical thinking lapses. Or maybe, sorry, rephrase that. Not the tendency for critical thinking lapses, but the possibility increases. The, uh, note that I did not say the probability, I said the possibility increases for critical thinking lapses to occur, uh, for occur to occur more often. So it's only the possibility increases. Um, uh, again, probability is not, again, there's not any correlation or causational uh, influence here. It's only a possibility, not a probability in this particular case of increase. Uh, so anyway, <coughs> I digress. Um, I think that pretty well covers my point. Yeah, otherwise, keep it up. Toodles.